Good evening. Unfortunately, I'm here with breaking news. Terrorist attack around the world. In New York, terrorists broke into homes and murdered residents by shooting. In London, elderly people and children were kidnapped, including babies who were forcibly separated from their parents. At a music festival in Amsterdam, hundreds of young people were massacred while hundreds of others were kidnapped and raped. Dozens of children and babies were found in the central square in Rome, brutally beheaded. In Tokyo, many were killed by rocket fire on their houses. And in Madrid, many residents were burned alive in their homes, which were set on fire by the terrorists. The truth, dear citizens of the world, that luckily for you, none of what I described happened in these cities. Unfortunately for us, all these things and more happened in one place. Israel. Since October 7th, Israel has been subject to a vicious attack by barbaric terrorists who commit inhuman crimes against civilians, many of them children, women, and elderly. The Israeli army stands firm against the terrorists and fights heroically with the goal of liberating Israel from the terror of Hamas. In fact, not only Israel, the residents of Gaza also wish to be freed from the rule of Hamas which uses them and their children as human shields for its extreme and inhuman ambitions. The truth is that you, citizens of Europe, the United States, and the entire world cannot become either. See, this attack is not directed only against Israelis or Jews. This fundamentalist terrorist attack aims against the values of the free world, democracy, liberty, and progress. Israel is the front line of these values in the Middle East. But if they are done with us, you're next. So when we stand up to these cowardly terrorists and defend the global values of freedom and justice, we are not standing there just for us. We are standing there for you too. Will you stand with us? <laughs>